Hatchet it. Or hatchet, hand axe it. Oh jeez. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Well. So nice. It turns out Henry cannot survive that. <sighs> Welcome back to Kirby Emblem Awakening. Last time we met Cherish up at the port here, and then we had to ask Plegia for some warships and gold, or we're about to. We have quite a lot of randoms on the map right now. Um, just a quick update so there may be some videos coming out delayed um within the next week or so of uploading uploading this because i am moving so there might be um pokemon might be on a hiatus hopefully this won't but path of radiance should be good as i have plenty of stock i am finished recording that game um so if pokemon are this missing that is why until i can get everything set up um Side with that out of the way, this chapter we're about to do has quite a few, uh, it's pretty cutscene heavy. But last time Krom got to level 20, and he only has one promotion option. He's all sparkly and stuff. Yay. <laughs> I think that's the title of this song. Oh yeah, they can use lances. I always forget that Krom can use lances. Uh, let's see if we can give him anything. Uh... Oh yeah, I put the tree branch on him so that'd look funny, but we can get rid of it. But he's not the only one that's going to promote, so I'm just going to promote Lisa. Um, now Lisa has a branch, and as you can tell by me giving her the kick axe, I'm actually going to go with a war cleric. Um, usually I do sage, but we like doing things different here. That's why we married Krom to the village maiden after all. This is probably the worst option, but she's mostly going to be on the back line uh, fighting with Donal. And they could be two axe wielders, why not? And she looks pretty cool in that metal skirt thing. Uh, I guess we can give her another staff. Um, here, take that. And she isn't the only healer promoting because I am just going to go ahead and promote Maribel right now. Mostly because I want her to be able to attack. Um, we're not going to go where War Cleric. We're going to stick with Valkyrie. I think most people make her into this. But I just want her to be able to attack with Rickon. Because I feel like he would benefit most from dual strikes. He just comes so close of killing things, like one-shotting them. And maybe if Maribel can help us out, that would be a lot better. Um, we can give her something else. Uh... We'll take another heal staff. Yeah, I gave her fire because Maribel is fiery. I also used some stat boosters on people. I gave her a spear dust beforehand. And then Rickon, I gave him a robe and um, there was a speed wing for sale. And I think I gave Cordelia an energy drop I got from Renown. But anyway, we are going to do that support later and just begin this chapter. Like I said, this one's pretty cutscene heavy towards the end. And it's her again. Good day, my lord. Versa, how nice to see you. What can I say? I really like in the cutscenes when Krom's promote. He's all shiny what? and whatnot. <laughs> really? Well, I guess she'll nice. serve any king here. Versa sure knows how to get around, obviously. He doesn't look evil at all. He looks what nice. We here? Sure, he didn't try and kill us and Emran back in chapter 6. No, certainly. Krom, don't get that idea. 
<laughs> so I think in the parentheses up, uh, that's yeah. whispering. Listen. Hmm. No one dies in Fire Emblem Crom. You what? idiot. Crom? <laughs> hmm. hmm. Right. Felidor oh, does look like a Disney villain, I guess. What? Yes, sir. Giving us your assets without really... Hmm. Without really any argument or anything like that. Just freely giving us all these soldiers and ships. Hmm. You know, he looks... I think they might use the, um, middle oh. avatar here because he is a little bit taller than Ooh. Kirby. And the yeah. jawline looks a little different. You probably Explain. know what's coming up if you've played this game before. Yes. <laughs> Another Kirby, and now he moves a couple inches in height. An evil Kirby. No. Ah, uh, yes. Now then. Wait! It's like the, um, it's like in Kirby Amazing Listen. Mirror when you, um, find the Shadow Kirby in Mirror World. <laughs> well, we'll have to keep that in mind. Yes, another Kirby. Maybe it's actually Meta Knight in disguise. Huh? Heed my call. No, Kirby's father is Sakurai. You're not him. No. <laughs> hey. What? And Chrome just didn't see anything that happened. Listen. <sighs> what? Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. 
No. Right. You all right? No, Crom carry yeah. me. I would be fine with Crom carrying me, but that should bring us to. Oh, Frederick? Yes. I feel like this scene happens a lot with Crom and Kirby standing there, and Frederick just walks in. What? Ah. Yeah, apparently the Risen. Um, they get a little bit smarter as the game goes on. Back in the early chapters, they just really didn't talk and anything. And now, they I believe towards the end, they start to speak a little bit more. Um, right, so we do need to select our team. Okay. Uh, Krom's here, so we need Gaius. We need Sumia and Lisa. Sumia's promoted, Lisa. And Rick and Maribel, Opstall, Sher, yeah, that would be our team. Okay. So we need to figure out who's going where, and it's a good idea to hover over these warriors, so we're going to start seeing a lot more promoted enemies. And warriors are kind of scary because they have the counter skill, which, um, if you attack it, does massive damage back to you, so I want to be wary of that. Now, I think Donald and Lissa could just go up here. Donald could probably solo these guys. Lisa will go with him. Um, these forts here we also want to block. Something dangerous will be coming out of them, as you can probably imagine. Now, this would be a fun chapter to train Cordelia, but we have to be very wary of all the bow users. I really want her to get some more XP. Um, and, of course, Stahl will have to backpack. Rickon and Maribel, um, put you right here. Sumia will hop on Kirby, or rather the other way around would be good. Olivia, um, you can stay up here and Krom can get on guys. I think that's how it'll go. Let's save. And we'll begin. And we're beginning again because I failed. Let's go. Hmm? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> He's funny. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Yeah, by the looks of this map, we are pretty trapped, but I think we can fight our way out. Wow. I really love this line here. When a mommy zombie and a daddy zombie love each other very much. <laughs> what? Yes, he's not the first Plegian Dark Mage to help us. Yeah, the fortresses are, uh, they can cause quite a stir, um, because there are some ambush spawns on this map. These forts down here, uh, pretty scary. We'll have to get to them quickly. Um, now I also wanted to train Cordelia. Um, my plan is to go up here, because this archer, obviously I'm not playing this for the first time now since Henry did die. Oh, by the way, Henry, I absolutely love Henry. Another dark mage fills a role like Tharja. Once he gets going, he can Nosferatu tank, and I'm going to actually pair him, him up with Cherish. Um, now, it's not really that great of a pairing for the sake of her child, but the idea is to fly Henry in with Nosferatu and just have him take everything, and of course she gives him four defense. So that'll be helpful, hopefully. And then as for Cordelia, oh, let's just burn through the Steel Lance. We need to train her up as well. She's a bit behind Sumia since the last chapter where we promoted quite a few people. Okay, very good. Now, hmm, Sumia really doesn't want to fight any archers either. Or does she? Yeah, no. Sometimes they can tank it out decently, but not an awakening. Well, they actually never really can, although in some games I think in Gaiden Echoes are not 
weak to the basic bow. Um, okay, right, so let's begin with Henry. This time we will make sure he doesn't get slain. And he does come with this Ruin Tome, which is quite handy in training him. Because it has a massive print rate. His laugh there is a little creepy. Right, so I think what we're going to do is have... I really want Gaius to get some experience. Um, just equip this. It's kind of falling by the wayside. Uh, Rickon... So don't want too much to be on Rickon either. Okay, Olivia, not sure what she can do right now. And the hatchet. Yeah, a lot of these guys are two range. Um, these bows, if we can lure them close enough, we might be able to throw up the ledge at them. Um, okay, and this would be a good time to turn on. There we go. I don't think this will accomplish anything, but we might as well. In my last attempt, um, Henry did not crit that guy, and Rickon had to finish him off. Thank you, waifu. Okay, good. Rickon can actually double now. We get to see Maribel attack. And her classy as ever outfit. Okay, magic and speed, that's all we really want at this point. Yikes. Ugh, Gaius. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, really? Oh yeah, Crumb has the lance. Um, okay guys, please don't die. Okay, so 23. There we go. You know, this isn't super risky because we're only on like the first turn, but that would have annoyed me. Thank you. <sighs> well, at least Cordelia's tanking some hits and getting some XP. And these guys are going to be attracted to Donald. He should be able to clean house at least. And we may get to see Lisa fight. Another good one from Donnie. What do we expect? What else do we expect? <laughs> she like slid across the floor. crits in this game are quite amusing. Okay, and here comes a big warrior. You know, this time around I didn't check for counter. Okay. Although it might be the same RNG that since I'm just reloading. I think Donald is about to the point where he has many of his um, stats capped. Okay. Right, so... like to heal you. Um, I think what we'll do have Gaius kill you. you can do I don't think the reinforcements will come this early. Nice. I think I'm actually going to keep Olivia back here. I know it sucks, but, um... I don't want Gaius and Krom to get moving. And then we'll just dance for you. I think Kirby and Sumia can stay back. They get plenty of screen time. Henry, hang out here. Maribel. No, actually, let's keep Maribel out front. 
You guys are going to separate. Actually, let's separate Sumia. She can get over to that fort now. That would be a good place to... Although we're only down to two. Stahl has to take on these archers. There's no way Cordelia is doing it. Um, why did I highlight you? Well, Lisa can take this guy on. Um, I just don't want her to be in the woods. So let's just go ahead here. And pray Henry survives. And he burned through the javelin. Thanks, Donald. Best is Bondo. Okay. Um... Gosh, there's so many of them. Uh, alright. Let's take out you. Yeah, not the best chapter, obviously, to train up Cordelia. Um, okay, so Kirby, why don't you get... Actually, no, I want Sumia to go up front. Okay, Olivia, you're gonna go here. Um... Henry, you're gonna try again. I would like Rickon to get more. Um... Gaius can go up front with Prom. And then Maribel can heal you. Okay, well, I guess Lisa and Donald are pretty much done. They can start coming back, I guess. Oh, you're on a fort. Gross. Alright. Um. Really would like Cordelia to. Problem is, if she doesn't. Hmm. Oh, that's a sword. Might have to brave it up. Wow. Um, Donald, you would just keep moving along. Right, so... Be sure you'll murder... Maribel. And that's why we have her promoted. Okay. Uh, yeah, that Rickon can take the sniper. Henry cannot, as you may have already seen. Really making good use of Olivia. Oh, look, an ambush spawn. I hope Rickon can take that. Another good one from Stall. Okay, this is actually kind of scary because I don't think Rickon. Okay. Don't think Rickon could handle two. 69. Good job, Rickon. Here comes this little prick. Yikes. Rickon's just a dodgy one today. Okay. Henry, can you get revenge on him, please? There we go. <laughs> yeah, blood. We also have to train up Cherish as well. I mean, she didn't get to do too, too much in the last chapter. 
Actually, we'll just have Gaius. He should be okay to go on this fort, hopefully. We don't have too many tanky people around here. Um, right. Just worried that another sniper might come out. That'd be really bad for Cordelia. eating through that brave sword still. Okay, guys, let's dodge a 2%. Thank you. Um, honestly, guys might have to be the one to take care of this. I really don't want my mages getting too close. I should actually get Cherish out front. Oh look, we doubling. What a surprise. Okay, good. More speed. Um... Okay, I think I'm going to switch to you. And then you may want to get that sparkly as well. Uh... Oh boy. Um... I kind of don't want to aggro you because I'd rather you get killed by Cordelia. Alright then. Ugh. Ugh, sigh. Are you ready? Ugh. Oh boy. Alright guys, don't die. <laughs> this is why I left him in the back lines for most of the game. He is pretty squishy. him. Okay, good. The closer we get to a Wyvern Lord, the better, obviously. And not that great of a level up. Uh, I'm just gonna keep you here and then, just so we don't have to deal with any enemy out of this fort. I think I want them to fly back here. Okay, so Cordelia... Nice, we can kill this guy. She should be able to do pretty well in the next chapter. The boat map with the ambush spawning Pegasi, which is actually really bad for... Um, Olivia. <laughs> yeah, well, more for Cordelia, I guess. It's a really hard map to use Olivia in the next one with ambush flyers she can just get picked off so easily. get messed up pretty bad if eh, not too too much no nope. 
Oh, guys, nothing but candy quotes from you. Okay, we really need to get these two. I want to fly um her in there. Uh, and then just another one for Cordy. Okay, yeah, Maribel, definitely stay there, please. Uh, okay. And guys, some crumb can go up this way while we work on the sparklies. Henry, you go first. Okay. Just moving for the kill. I'm coming sparkly slowly but surely. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, so I'm sure Cordelia gets pretty messed up by you. Uh, not too, too badly. Um, let's just wait another turn. We can fly up the uh, sheriff if need be. Kill Prince Quar. Okay, good job, guys. Yeah, Guys is probably going to be staying on the inside the next chapter as well. He really doesn't want to fight any ambush spawn flyers. Okay, and some good training for most of us. Right. Krom. Father, no. Be ready. I mean, he's doing zero damage. I guess if you have a non-trained up Krom, he can be scary. Father. Huh? <laughs> that voice clip Krom has. Huh? Okay, so here's where we get cutscene heavy. With our crappy village maiden Lucina, who will not be used. Sorry, Lucina fanboys. Listen. No. Good. Yes. <laughs> That's the brand of the egg salt. Lucina. <sighs> you deserve better from me than one sword in a world of troubles. I'm sorry. So here's where things get interesting depending on her mother. Uh, Sully just stands in the background training around, which is actually really funny. I'm so sorry. Sumia thinks he's cheating. Olivia also thinks Krom would be happier with her, and Maribel gets extremely angry thinking Krom's cheating. Maribel is also pretty funny. Good. Um, the Avatar, I don't think she's in the background if she's the mother. No. I think she just walks up like um, the Avatar normally does here. But here we have village maids, so nothing interesting is going to happen. 
Krom. Yeah, I think female Avatar, even when she's married to Krom, does the same thing here. Huh? <sighs> yeah, she says the same thing. Listen. Yes. Huh? Oh, Listen they still butt in if there's another mother. Huh? Right. And that line is a meme. It's all right. What? Yes. You know, Kirby's smiling face down there while everything is burning is really ironically hilarious. <laughs> Kirby's fought intergalactic um. Eldritch Abomination villains before. He'll be fine. <sighs> Unless he is that villain. Right. Right. others. Yes, this is where we're gonna go um, paralogue happy after this. I've done a lot of pairing, so we're pretty much going to get all but maybe like three children. Father. I need Pan's child, I still need uh, Tharja's child, and I do of course need Cherishi's child and Olivia's <laughs> child, so it's about four we still need to get, right. but we will. Even if we're not using the parents. Cool. Some of them, I think, aren't even reachable, like that one. I think that's Brady. Morgan or Kajel, that's Cynthia. I think that's Severa. That's Morgan. Don't remember who that is. Um... Yeah, so I think this one is Morgan. So uh, is that Paralogue 5? No, 12. I'd like to do these in order. Um, they are in order with the... Uh, by the mother, so Lisa's would be the easiest. Um, I don't remember where Owen is. I'm going to have to have a look at this map. Anyway, we do have another support. Actually, have two. Let's do Olivia and Virion right now. Oh, yes. Well... Remarkable. <laughs> oh. uh. My, my. Huh? No, uh. Oh. <laughs> I appreciate it. He kind of does. Oh, how we dance. Yes. Yeah, we have to get you guys paired up fast. Even though I don't like that personality type, her son is pretty cute. Um, Shersh and Henry, we did get a support tile. How's that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my! 
Yeah, Henry can be quite adorable, unlike his uh, counterpart in Fates. We all know who she is. <laughs> Whenever I get around to playing Conquest after this game, she's probably getting the bench for Silas. And Henry likes blood, but Minerva can probably tell how creepy Henry is. So we also unlock parent-child supports. Now, normally... Um, Lucina would have one with her mother if that were like Olivia or something, but because her mother is Maiden, she'll only be stuck with Krom. No. And this support really won't get us anywhere because we're not using her. Yeah, we're gonna show off her stats after this. No. Hmm. It's an interesting song to have a support to. <sighs> Yeah, well, Krom's using a lance now, so he weapon triangles you. What? Huh? <sighs> well, we're, that's not going to get anywhere. Um, right, that's our Lucina stats. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head what she normally is, but that looks kind of bad. I know the avatar, she's insane, obviously, but, um... There she is, uh, Lucina. But with that, I will leave you. And next time, hopefully, whenever I can get the next video out, we will be taking on this warship, or maybe a paralogue. I still have to decide what we need to do. I'll see you then.